Hello, welcome to Clickly. Today we will learn about timer. Dimensional invaders crowded out of the cracks one by one. How does the effect achieve it in the game? A timer is like an hourglass. The action will be executed after the timer ends. In Clickly, there are three types of timers. The first one is run single timer. The action is executed after a set period of time. For example, count to 3 seconds and Jones door will open. The second one is run loop timer. The timer runs in a loop and the action executed after the end of each loop. For example, every 1 second Jones door will open. The third one is run count timer with a fixed interval in between and a fixed number of total times. For example, every one second, John's door will open once, and it will open three times in total. We will demonstrate how to use the timer in Clickly. Step 1. Edit the terrain. We draw a point on the map and rename it to hole. Step 2. Edit the trigger. Add an event. Select hardware input. Key down. J key press. In action, select room loop timer that execute at intervals of 2 seconds. The parameter boolean indicates that we can add a condition here to determine when and whether to run the timer. The timer will be executed immediately when the condition is met, and cease to execute if it's not met. We choose true here to execute immediately. In the action list, select unit. Create the unit we want to generate. At a point hole we just drew. The orientation is the same as the unit boss. Now that the setting of the trigger is completed, let's enter the game and test the effect. Did you get it? Lastly, let's review what we have learned today. We learned about three types of timers. Run single timer, the action is executed after a set period of time. Run loop timer, the action is executed after the end of each loop. Run count timer, the action is executed with a fixed interval in between and a fixed number of total times. We also learned to use run loop timer in an editor to generate units. You can also try to use the other two timers to make some simple effects. In the next lesson, we will learn about unit group. See you next time!